Are you seeing them? I want you to see their colors. They are different. Just watch their colors. And I want you to also see their pointed nose. That is when you will begin to understand what we are talking about. All right, great people. All right, freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. I am back again today. You are joining us on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nambikano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Bia Franchise Wachineke, the general. <clears throat> I hope every one of you saw the video. I hope you saw their colors and their nose. <laughs> that is when you will begin to understand that everything that I have said is a gospel. Everything that I've been saying, they are all gospel. The Fulani terrorists are already there. You see their colors and you see their pointed nose. That is why you have to understand that these people are coming with conquest. You see how they look like. Some are coming from Chad. Some are coming from Niger. Some are coming from Mali. Some are coming from Sudan. Some are coming from Senegambia, Sahel, trooping into that contraption. If you people haven't forgotten what Erufai said, Erufai said they have already taken over Kaduna State. Now you understand what we are talking about. Now with the help of El Rufai, they have already taken over Kaduna. All this thing is to put fear in us. Of course they have already taken over Kaduna. And they are saying there will be no election. But I want you people to understand that all these shenanigans that you are seeing today is a well planned. It is a well planned. That full and new terrorists, those people that they find themselves in that contraption called Damine Buzu, and they are only 5%. They don't have anything, do you? They are not indigents of that contraption. And because they have already found safer landing in that contraption called Damine Buzu, now they have told all their brothers from neighboring country to troop in. If you doubt what I'm saying, I want you to go back to this video that I'm doing and look at the foot soldiers. You will see their colors. You will look, look at their nose. You will tell me if these people are not coming from, you know, like Chad, like Niger, like Sudan, to take over your land. Now they have begun to import their foot soldiers to be able to be able to accomplish their mission. I keep on telling people, Wahhabism, Wahhabism and Jihadism, they are all authentic. And I want to tell you people that Fulani can never stop. Fulani terrorists, they can never stop on this agenda called conquest, known as the Holy War. I want you see, I will keep on saying all these things. Of course, I know some of our people will say that I'm a jobless person. I have no job. I am a talkative. That is why I will keep on, you know, saying what I'm saying. But believe you me, I'm trying to save souls. That is what I'm doing here. And I want you all to understand that. With the help of Erufai, they have already taken over Kaduna State. With the help of Erufai and Lai Muhammad and Garo Bashir. And I want you all always understand, forget about what Erufai will come out and begin to speak to you people. You think that this man is with you people. Erufai is the commander of all this Boko Haram terrorist group. He is their commander. He's telling them what to do. He's telling them how they can be able to take over Nigeria. By the time 2023 will come, an article will become your president and they will make it official. 
that Nigeria belongs to them. They will make it official. And they will make it official. And there is nothing you can do about it. That is the foot soldiers you are seeing that they have already taken over Kaduna State. They are already taking... You see, what they are doing now, you will be thinking that these people are with you. You don't know that these people have already prepared how things will go for them because they are you know they're looking every strategy how would they take over that contraption that is why you see they will start from northern part of nigeria so that you will not understand the game they are playing you know if they start from the south like from our land biafra or from yoruba odudua people will begin to ask a question that is why they want to start from kaduna so that you cannot be able to ask that question when they will begin to move into south you know these people are like gasoline when you pour them on the floor they will be they will be they will be moving like i don't know you see i want you people to understand this i can never lie to you people I want you people to know that jihadism, jihadism is to take over your land. Jihadism means to overrun you. Jihadism means to enslave you. Jihadism means to, you must accept. If you don't, your own is gone. But some of our people won't see all these things that i have been saying but i will keep on lamenting don't pray for one nigeria to get to you don't even pray about that because the day that it will get to you believe you me there's no how you can escape it but i'm just bringing this to you all to see the full and his foot soldiers they have already taken every position they have already taken Kaduna, and this is how they will be moving slowly and slowly. That is how you can also see them tomorrow in your neighboring place, in your back of your house, and there is nothing you can do about it. Now you understand what I'm talking about. I want you to, you know, to reason sometimes. Just reason. Don't just come and say, that everything I'm telling you is lie. Because some of you people even though don't have data to see what is happening to you. Some of you people don't even know that Nigerians have expired. Some of you don't even know that, that the foundation of Nigeria was built on fraud. Some of you don't even understand that. Some of you don't even understand that we are not one people. We don't have one religion. We don't have one and we don't have the same way of life. But they will keep on telling you that diversity is their, you know, is their strength. Just tell me which diversity. We don't have the same religion. We don't believe in the same thing. Culture. Anything you can talk about. You see, I want you to understand this. You know, better... First, you buckle your belt and embark on this journey that we all. It's going to be good for all of us. This is what I have for you today. Good day. I welcome.